Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to factor uh, this expression. And basically, I see this one does not look very fun, right? We have uh, nothing I can factor out out of all three terms. And then I have y to the fourth, y cubed, and y squared. Now, um, I can factor out a y, right? And I can factor out a y to the squared power. And that's perfectly fine um, if you want to go ahead and do that. But um, I am not going to, in this case, just because of the fact, one thing I notice is um, both y to the fourth and y squared are perfect, are square terms. And even though, yes, you can still factor them out, and we can do that still even at the end. Um, but what I want you to see is, well, I know that these are square terms, and I know that 9 and 4 are square terms. So if those two are square terms, then is this maybe possibly a perfect square trinomial? Um, well, to do that, we've got to make sure that our middle terms are going to work. So let's look at what two possible factors we could have. Since these are squared numbers, I'd have to have 3y squared times 3y squared, right? 3 times 3 is 9. y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. To get 4y squared as a perfect square, it would have to be, now it could be positive 2y or negative 2y. But since my middle terms are going to give me negative 12, I'm going to have to use negative 2y and negative 2y. Again, let's check. Is negative 2, excuse me, is negative 2y times negative 2y positive 4y squared? Yes. Now. To determine if this works as a perfect square trinomial, we need to multiply the middle and the outer terms to see if that's going to give us negative 12y cubed. And when you do the math, yes, it does. So I don't need to go through all the hard work. I can simply now rewrite this as 3y squared minus 2y squared, Okay, where you could still factor out, um, you could still factor out your y um, squared, or look at that, and have 3y minus 2, which would have happened if we would have just factored it out from there. And then you would have had to factor it out of y squared. Um, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is one way to factor out a perfect square or to factor a perfect square trinomial. Thanks.